crate unboxing for January 2017. Um, as you can see, I, well, I mean, I don't know if you can see, but I am recording on my phone, so please bear with me. Um, yeah, so this is a loot crate. This is a, I don't know how big you can see it, but just the average loot crate box. Okay, so, as usual, got to my knife. Slip right there. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, ready? Oh, well, first of all, um, this month's Loot Crate theme is Origins. Ready? Three, two, one. Go! <laughs> As you can see, we already have Superman. Let's see where our brochure is. So I can do that first. And like I said, this month's Loot Crate theme is Origins. Superman Through the Ages, an interview with Rogue One, a Star Wars star story writer, Gary Whitta, and then who is Captain America's biggest inspiration? Find out inside. So this is the artwork. It says, we love you. Okay. <laughs> so the very first thing we have is this month's Loot Crate t-shirt. The original since 1981. Let's read about it. I just lost my page. Bear with me guys. Exclusive original Jumpman t-shirt. Before he was super, he was known as Jumpman. Shigeru Miyamoto created Donkey Kong and the character that would become Mario as his first gal pal, Pauline, when he couldn't acquire the license for Popeye. We pay tribute to his barrel jumping start with this exclusive loot crate designed tee that will put a spring into your step. Let's see. The next thing we have is this is a Loot Crate exclusive and it's a Geeky Tiki's mini mug. And as you can see, I got Donatello. Don't be afraid to expand your mind this year. If, you, if you've ever had an itch to learn how to code, take an art class. Try making something out of a warbler or any other new pursuit. There's no time like the present. Feel free to learn thing, new things and spread your mental wings. Stop repairing Baxter Stockman's robots when, when you find them because they always wreck the lab and try to kill you. So if you want to see what I got... <laughs> That's so weird. So it's a mini... A Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Muglet Horoscopes. Okay, so I got Donatello. And, okay, so you can see the whole thing. And I'll have still shots of everything. And if you collect them, which is interesting because I don't know how you collect them, um, they stack. So these are the ones you can get. There's different kinds. So you can get a Donatello, a Michelangelo, a Shredder, a Raphael, and a Leonardo. Oh, I forgot to read the whole thing, sorry. Exclusive Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Tiki Muglets. Though they have much grittier start in Kevin Eastman's and Peter Laird's Mirage Studios comic in May 1984, most people first met the Turtle Brothers in the light-hearted 1987 animated series. Running for just a shy of 10 years, it ended in 1996. Its popularity spawned a host of cross-media adaptations including video games, live-action movies, and is currently on its third cartoon. So raise a glass and toast. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles with the ceramic mini tiki mug. You have a chance to get one of the four turtles in the muglet form or the rare shutter variant. Huh. So I got Donatello. And of course I would get purple because it's my favorite color. Yes. <laughs> That's pretty cute. So the next thing we have. 
Oh, apparently. If you want to complete the set, you could visit vault.lootcrate.com. But hurry, because supplies are limited. Is that everything? No, there's, I think there's more in here. Oh. I think it's giving me a few pages, or I already missed it. so unprofessional and I'm so sorry. <laughs> the next thing we have is the Captain America shield with this nice display case. Captain America Golden Age Shield. Exclusive by Loot Crate. Um, clearly, depic clearly depicted as Steve Rogers' performance and first battle shield in Captain America the First Avenger, this badge-like Aegis was what the good Captain originally wielded in his comics debut way back in December 1940. Captain America Comics number one. Covered and dated as March 1941. This high-quality metal replica features scaled straps on the backs and comes with a display stand. Certificate of authenticity included. Authenticity. I can't believe I got that right. And if you're wondering why I have new clothes, it's because I totally messed up. And continuing now. That is our... Um... Well, I mean, this is pretty obvious, but just in case, I will check here. From Action Comics, we have an exclusive Action Comics number one reprint. Created by Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster way back in 1933, the character we would come to know and love didn't exactly catch on at first, but they were on to something, and five years later, Superman made his debut at the company that would become DC Comics. We salute this cultural icon with an authentic replica reprint of the Action Comics number one. Printed on the original newsprint stock with the original ads, this rarity includes a certificate of authenticity. Once again, right on the back. And last but not least, we cannot, well, I mean, two more things, but um, this month's uh, loot crate pin is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and I don't know but I hope it will say something about that yes this iconic Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles sewer logo makes a spiffy pin and makes a spiffy pin and may inspire you to try some unconventional pizza topping combinations so basically it gives us free comics so if you go to www.comixology.com slash redeem, you can get Mut Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, comics one through five. So you can redeem those. And last but not least, we have to talk about this box art. So obviously you could see it's Superman. And the interesting thing about this is if you cut it, and flip it in the right type of way, it becomes a comic book holder, as you can see right here. So maybe I will try to do that, hopefully, I think. I mean, I could try to make it. I could find a use for it. But yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed my video. It's been such a long time since I recorded. Um, thank you for bearing with me, and I hope to see you guys next month. I hope you guys have a great January, and happy looting! <laughs>